Maybe you have one of these. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. That's right. It's got the Wi-Fi's in it. And um, I kind of ordered it all by itself. I didn't even have a fancy case for it at the time. But most importantly, I didn't have one of these. This is a little micro USB to um, regular, not micro USB. I believe that's the technical term for it. So I could not plug in a keyboard to do anything with my Pi Zero W. However, that was not a problem because I'm well known for my patience. Wait a minute. Wait. I am not known for my patience. There we go. I knew something didn't sound right. So I decided to uh, find a way to get SSH set up along with my Wi-Fi credentials before my USB adapter arrived. This is my story. Okay, the first thing we need to do is uh, grab a copy of Etcher. We'll head over to their GitHub page, and at time of recording, 1.5109 is available. Why do I use this? Simple. It's available as an app image, and chances are the app image you're going to need is the X64, not the IA32. Once we have that, we're going to head over to raspberrypi.org and get ourselves a copy of Raspberry Pi OS. 32-bit light. So I have the app image and I have the zip file. Let's extract that zip. It's going to be about 1.8 gigs. That'll take just a second. Now that we're done with that, let's close that out. Now we do need to make the app image executable. You can, of course, chmod plus x, but with most desktop managers, even window managers, you're probably going to have an option you know, if you right click, go to permissions and be like, hey man, let this run as a program because we need it to. Let's close that. Okay, this is Etcher. This is bog standard. Um, we're going to be picking a file and it sees in our downloads by image directory, the um, light image. So we would open. Now we need to select a target. This is going to be your Pi SD card. We have an SD card uh, writer. I'll use a little USB one, or there's probably one in a laptop if you're using that. This is going to be smart enough to see it and also hide uh, all of your system drives. Guys, let's not write anything to those. We will select the, and it's going to be terribly obvious, you know. I have 16 gig SD card, and that's going to be the one we use. So we're good here. We have our image. We are going to be copying it, well, writing it to the SD card. And we have to tap that flash button. And before we do that, we have to say, ah, ah, that's just a requirement. It's also good luck. We're going to get a prompt. Um, key in your root password because that's needed. And this is the end game, the end screen. Your SD card should be good to go. We can go ahead and pop that back into the pie. Okay, now we have our micro SD card fresh out of the writer. We're going to pop that directly into the Raspberry Pi Zero W and power it up. It's going to take uh, a little while. A few splines need to be reticulated and um, bits need to be moved around in order for it to get to the login prompt, but it will get there eventually. And worst case scenario, um, say you don't even have a monitor handy, just uh, plug it in, give it five minutes and uh, pull the power. And let's just go ahead and extract that SD card. Now that we've finished that boot, we can uh, go ahead and pop our SD, our micro SD card, back into our reader, writer, and we should be presented with these options, you know. We should have a root file system and just boot. I'm going to mount the boot. It's nowhere near as naughty as it sounds, but hey, this is where we need to be. Because I'm going to open a terminal and we're going to start hacking, kids. Doesn't everyone like to hack? That's what we're about to do. We need to become super user. That's easy enough. Now we got to do a few things. Um, the first thing, we need to enable SSH. So we're going to do touch SSH. Now we have an SSH in there. And we also need to... Um, now we also... We also need to play with Nano because I need to create a file. What's that file that we need to create? Well, that file is called WPA underscore supplicant.com. 
it's going to be nice and blank because we need to put some number digits in it. Let's take a look at this is what we're going to be putting in. The two things you're going to need to change are the two things that you are going to know. One of them is going to be the SSID. And the other one is going to be the password on your luggage, obviously. Those have been changed. For the video, plug in what you need. But then we're going to hit Control X. We're going to hit Yes. And we're going to hit Enter. I'm just going to do an LS and make sure my file. Well, let's make sure something is in the file. Yeah, there it is. We should be good to go. So let's pop that card back into our pie. The first thing you're going to notice is on second boot, our pie doesn't take forever. Just nearly forever. Not really, but I mean, it. it's amazing considering the size of the board. Single core, 512 megs of RAM. What we were able to get away with is delightful. But if everything goes correctly, we should be greeted with an IP address. And you can see we now have Wi-Fi powers. Let's log into it because we should have SSH to go along with it. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. Um, let's see if we can go from a little bit of memory. I think it's SSH. I think Pi is the default user. Pi at 192.168.88.244. Now, of course, your IP address is going to be different depending on whatever is assigned to you by DHCP via your router. Oh, no. If you do get this, this means that, hey, man, uh, you've wiped this device. SSH knows about it, and uh, you need to reset those credentials. Easy enough to do. We're just going to copy pasta that. It's been nuked, so let's try that again. And yes, we do want to trust our Pi Zero default password. Ooh, let's see if we get this right on the first one. I believe it's Raspberry. Is it? Hey, look what we did. And as always, time till HTOP, we are up and running and we did not have to plug in a keyboard or any other type of input device into the Pi Zero. Again, I could only suggest doing this if you were like me and forget to order the adapter. Yeah, all right.